Once the disposables and dental instruments have been removed from the treatment area, we can make the evacuation cleaner. Use the manufacturer's recommendations for the proper amount. This evacuation cleaner will help to deodorize and sanitize both evacuation lines, the saliva ejector as well as the HVE. After dispensing the proper amount of evacuation cleaner, make sure you recap the original container. Take the evacuation cleaner to the operatory and place the saliva ejector into the cleaner. Make sure you submerge the tip of the saliva ejector and pull it out. This creates turbulence. Turbulence will help to remove any debris from the insides of the evacuation lines. Do the same thing for the HVE, making sure the tip of the HVE is placed in and out of the evacuation line cleaner. Use about a half a gallon of cleaner in each operatory. Keep the equipment running to help dry out the lines. Bacteria need moisture to survive. By keeping the air running, it will help decrease the likelihood of bacterial growth. You can then turn off all of your master switches and then check the traps in your treatment room. Pull off the gray silicone cap to check the saliva ejector trap. If the holes are still visible, you don't need to change the trap. Locate the HVE trap and remove the cover. If the trap is full of debris, dispose of the trap and replace it with a new one. Secure the new trap and place the lid on top. The last trap to check is the central vacuum trap. Remove the plastic container that contains the filter and the debris. And check to see if the trap is dirty. This trap is reusable. It's made out of wire mesh. To clean the trap, take it to sterilization and rinse it under running water. Drain the liquid and then place any solid waste in the appropriate waste receptacle.